Doris Delight, <laughs> because she brings such warmth to the house. <laughs> yeah, and joy. I think all of us in the yeah. house love Doris, um, but she she needs constant attention. So you ignore her for a while, and she goes cold on you. So um, she's a character. Yeah. It's a much more slow, gentle way of cooking, uh, tending the fire. And I think for me, the nicest part is you have a relationship with her, much more than a normal stove where you pop something in and you walk away. You can't walk away from Doris. Right from the, the first night we met, we had a conversation together basically a disillusionment with the world and how fast-paced it has become and wanting to basically create our own world and be as self-sufficient as possible and this is part of it. It certainly pulls our family together. I mean we sit here and someone's cooking and someone's chopping and someone's loading Doris and often there's card playing happening. It is that ancient thing of being around that fire source, being around and that being the heart of the family. I don't think we can live without Doris. No, once you've got used to having this pleasure in the winter, this other character in your home, you can't live without it afterwards. If it's what your heart wants to do, then it's an absolute pleasure. <laughs>